I'm Melissa Nakavali outside of Sick Kids Hospital, where officials here say they have been forced to reduce surgeries to preserve critical care capacity. Now, in an effort to help ease the strain on hospitals, government sources say that Ontario's top doctor will recommend masking up in some public settings on Monday. As physicians, we have been clear all along that masking does make a difference. Amid rising admissions, particularly in pediatric hospitals, government sources say masking recommendations will be heightened come Monday. The announcement is expected to come from Dr. Kieran Moore. The province's chief medical officer of health has said in the past that the fall and winter would see a resurgence of respiratory illnesses, that he would recommend masking in certain indoor settings if hospitals began cancelling surgeries to deal with the surge of patients. We had to make the extremely difficult decision to significantly reduce all of our scheduled surgeries in order to help redeploy staff and create capacity mainly in our intensive care unit. Officials with SickKids Hospital say starting Monday, surgical care will be shifting its focus to emergency urgent and most time sensitive cases. I have to tell you, it's, it, it's heartbreaking for the patients and the families. And at the same time, it's morally distressing for us as healthcare professionals. The ICU at the Children's Hospital has been above 127% capacity for the last several days. Officials add that over half of the patients in the ICU are currently on a ventilator. We have seen very high numbers of respiratory viruses like the rhinovirus, enterovirus, and then more recently, we're beginning to see RSV and influenza just beginning. We really have a triple threat on the doors of our emergency departments. Influenza A has arrived early and uh, we're into hundreds and hundreds of cases. The capacity issues have not been exclusive to sick kids. In Peel Region, officials with Trillium Health Partners say in a statement to City News, we are seeing more children visiting the emergency department due to respiratory illnesses like RSV and influenza. And we are caring for more higher needs pediatric inpatients than fall prior to the pandemic. What kind of solutions are available or, or do you believe could help um, ease some of this that's happening right now? Everybody needs to get their flu shot as well as up to date on their COVID-19 booster series, as well as the regular things, washing our hands, staying home if we're sick and uh, putting a mask on in crowded places and especially when we're gathering with vulnerable people. Now, sources say that there will be no mask mandate, just a general recommendation to wear a mask. Now, here at Sick Kids, officials say families whose surgeries have been impacted will be contacted. Melissa Nakavali, City News.